to install Laravel in our Windows machine, we firstly have to go to laravel.com website, the official website of Laravel and let's now go to this documentation. I want you to just familiar with all the documentation, how it's structured and how to read the documentation. It's very important to have a look on the documentation and know how you can read that. So documentation is simply very easy. You can search anything here, but for installation, we need three things. One is PHP and obviously that version has to be greater than seven. Then database, MySQL or SQLite, whatever you want. Then the most important thing is Composer. Yeah, we need Composer, but what is this? Composer is just the dependency manager. And now what is this means? Okay, so to simplify this dependency manager, it will just saying like that, whatever you need, whatever your project depends upon, it will get on your project. But you will say, Sarthak, that's good, but uh, I can also download some package and install it on my existing core PHP project. But here comes the important question, where you are going to put? How you can manage these folders and create these packages in your project? For that, Composer comes in the picture. Composer know how to manage these dependencies, how to manage that packages and how to install that, where to install that. All these things are by Composer. So we just have to download this, but to install Composer, firstly, we need to install XAMPP or any other PHP local server. I'm using XAMPP because I like this and I'm quite familiar with this one. So as we have discussed we need 7.0 or greater so i will just use 7.1.8 version so let's download this version and also let's download this composer and you can see both things are installing right now okay so it's installing composer it's going to install and when this will installed completely i will come back and now you can see composer and XAMPP is successfully installed. Let's just firstly install the XAMPP on our machine. So I will open it and yes. And whenever you start installing XAMPP, you will get a little warning. Don't worry about this, just go ahead. And what we have to do, just click on this next and this next once more, once more. And I don't want to look for this learn more about Vietnami. Okay, next. And now it's installing. It will take some time. So I will come back when it is finished. You can see the XAMPP is successfully installed and it will asking you for starting the control panel. So let's finish this to start the control panel and minimize this one and this one also. And now it will asking for language, save. Now you can see this control panel is started. You need only two things, Apache and MySQL. Apache to have the server and MySQL for the database. So let's just start this Apache. And you can see it's started. Similarly, let's start this MySQL, which is just going to start in a few seconds. And yes, it's also started. So to open this MySQL database, what we have to do, we have to go to this admin, click here, and it will open this in the browser. So this is going to open in the Edge browser. Let's close this. And yeah, this is actually our database. So we will look about these things. So you can create new database, if you have any database, then you can name it and you can create tables inside this. Many things you can do. And after this, obviously, we need to install our composer. So let's click on this composer setup. Yes, we just have to say next. 
and it will automatically get the PHP. If this is not in your case, you just browse to php.exe file in your XAMPP, WAMP, MAMP, whatever you are using, you can just browse for that. So click next here and next once more, install and running composer installer script. In a few minutes, it will just going to download and then install the composer. Now composer is successfully installed. Just click on this next to finish this. And now what we have to do, we have to just open command prompt. So I will say CMD, open command prompt. And here I will say to check whether Composer is installed or not, let's type Composer. So Composer, that should be O. Hit enter. And yes, it's not having any kind of error. And yeah, our Composer is successfully installed. Let's go to Laravel documentation to see what next we have to do. Here it's giving this command. So what this will going to do, if I copy this one from here, go to command prompt like this and you can see if I type here Laravel only, hit enter, it's not having any kind of command like this. But if I paste this and run it, it will create a command line tool to install Laravel. Okay, and then what we can do, we can just say Laravel new and the project name. You can also do all these things, but obviously this is much code. We don't like this and we like this one. So it's just going to install everything in your machine. And after that, we can use this system Laravel new blog. Okay, so now you can see the Laravel is successfully installed and it says application ready build something awesome okay yeah amazing <laughs> okay so now we have to cd into the folder which is 5.5 and now hit enter and here i will say php then artisan a r t i s a n and serve not server it's only serve and remember this artisan is a command line interface for Laravel. We have many commands with the artisan, PHP artisan, but here we are just using serve command. So in the future, we will see how all these commands for this artisan will work. And for now, let's hit enter. And yes, it says server is started and I will go to Chrome and I will say localhost colon 8000 the port name is 8000 now hit enter in just a few seconds you will see our Laravel 5.5 is ready on our screen yeah it's here so Laravel 5.5 is here and if you are curious to have the version so let's just go out of this server by pressing ctrl C and I will say PHP artisan and remember the artisan spelling A R T I S A N, then space double hyphen version. Hit enter and it will give you the Laravel version, which is 5.5.2. So, congratulations to your first installation of the Laravel, and we will proceed with the Laravel in the other videos. Till then, don't forget to subscribe, like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till then, goodbye.